Hello, my name is Doug Urey. I'm the Dean of School of Education here at Gardner Webb University. And I'm here to talk to you today a little bit about a program we're starting here at the university in our School of Ed. It's called the Educational Specialist Degree uh, in School Administration. Uh, our title actually for the program will be um, EDS in ed Executive Leadership, which follows a new trend out of our State Department here in North Carolina that aligns uh, administrative training with executive principles instead of just uh, uh, educational leadership principles. But uh, license-wise, it'll be still listed on the School of Men. We currently have uh, a full-fledged master's program in school administration, which we call Executive Leadership Studies, uh, with a large number of cohorts operating throughout the state of North Carolina. We have 15 sites plus an online opportunity. We also have a doctoral program that's in its 10th year of preparing EDD students in school administration or executive leadership with the with ability at that time to have a recommendation for superintendent's license. What we're proposing now is a program that will allow students with a master's degree to get a superintendent certificate without going through the full doctoral program and completing a dissertation. We thought it might be an opportunity for those people who weren't interested necessarily in the doctoral degree but still would like to have that licensure piece. Uh, at the time of this taping, we are close to getting this program kicked off, anticipate uh, by August 2012 being uh, able to offer this program throughout North Carolina at least and upper South Carolina area. We've cleared all hurdles except waiting for uh, approval from SACS. Uh, the SAC situation right now is the proposal has been sent to them and we'll hear back if it's uh, a short review or a long review. And we anticipate a short review at this time, which means by late April 2012 or early May, we should be able to proceed. If it uh, needs a long review uh, based on SAC's interpretation, then we may be looking at a, a different start date. At the time of this taping, we're not sure, we, but we want to make that clear. We hope this uh, video will be used in years after this, so disregard all this information if you're looking at this, I'd say 2013 and any time beyond that. But our plans are is to open in our all our satellites uh, positions now, which would be cohort models in 15 different sites. Uh, at the time of this taping, we're in the Asheville area, certainly on the Gardner Webb campus. We're in Statesville, we're in Charlotte, uh, Montgomery County, Winston-Salem or Forsyth County, Guilford County. We're in the Raleigh area, Goldsboro, Fayetteville, Rocky Mount, and Wilmington. And by the time, uh, you know, if this is beyond 2013 that you're seeing this information, then there could even be some other opportunities as well as an online opportunity at that time. We're not proposing the online until after this program is up and running. But I want to tell you a little bit about the program and give you an opportunity to see that and hope that, that, that it might spark some interest on your part. Uh, the overview, and I think if you, uh, in this video, if you put it on full screen, you should have full view of, of what is here. It's designed for potential and practicing educational leaders who aspire to develop and refine their skills in the complex organizations that we operate in. This is uh, going to be operating under a new revisioned blueprint for the state of North Carolina that requires a little different uh, competency-based, uh, product-based, electronic portfolio-based assessment for licensure purpose. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that as we move along. It's a very non-traditional approach. We're looking at a 60% face-to-face opportunity and a 40% online or outside classroom engagement. Now, and we'll talk even more about that later, but uh, our program is set up in six-hour modules, which means each semester you will take a six-hour module for six, six consecutive semesters, and during each of those semesters you also take a one-hour internship. So you'll really be taking seven hours per semester. That non-traditional approach is that in order to get that six hours credit, you would normally have to sit in a classroom for 90 hours. So we're saying uh, 60 hours face-to-face -face and roughly 30 hours of some engagement online, teamwork, chat rooms, uh, watching videos, whatever might be
constructed for that particular extra engagement. So it is a blended model. Uh, some call it hybrid, some call it blended, but we're looking at face-to-face -face and some online opportunities. So it is a non-traditional program, but a program designed uh, in an integrated fashion, and I'll be able to show you some of those uh, modules, description of those modules, so you get a better feel for that. Our goals are to engage uh, students in critical analysis, uh, discipline inquiry in the field of education, prepare candidates for making contributions. So we're looking at central office level type work and, and skills. The new blueprint for programs in the states requires that you demonstrate skills that are in a pre-service training, which you would be as a student, that you would demonstrate in an in-service opportunity when you got in that position. So our pre-service evaluation and proof of licensure is based upon uh, sort of a scale down of the evaluation model for the in-service candidate or in-service person working in that position. So there's a lot, there's a real alignment between preparation and actual work based on the evidence that you have to show. We want you to become leaders in educational institutions and meet proficiency level license requirements that are now very different than they've ever been before. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, our state about four years ago went to a McCrail system of evaluation for teachers, principals, and superintendents. There is an in-service evaluation that is followed, and now the licensure piece for preparing to be a teacher, principal, or superintendent follows that same instrument in an in-service mode, which allows us to take the same skills designated in that evaluation being on the job and apply them to the evidences that you produce to, to show competency for the license itself. Learning outcomes, I uh, want you to make significant contributions to your school system so you don't sit and then regurgitate what you learn. You actually go out and work in school systems in order to show proficiency in order to obtain that license. We want you to contribute to the overall learning environment, use your knowledge, skills, and dispositions to support lifelong learning, and demonstrate theoretical and practical knowledge and skills in everyday work activities. It's a hands-on piece and you must, before you come into this program, you need to get supervisor's approval for you to be part of this because you're going to be asked to go back as you're training and taking classes, you're going to be asked to go back and work in the systems and actually work with people to make significant changes in the system. A little different than what internships have been in the past, uh, especially in the principal area where you might do lunch duty, hall duty, bus duty, and some of those extra things. Now, even in the principal side, you're actually doing things with people to make changes. In this particular program, you're going to have to get into the central office and do some work with committees and school boards and groups. There is an internship requirement uh, of six hours. We've aligned that one hour each semester through the six consecutive semesters. You will enter the program with a cohort of people and stay with that cohort for the entire time. So you begin your internship from day one. Usually most programs have been uh, in preparation that you complete the program and then do the internship. This is all integrated in the piece so that you'll be working on activities and uh, submissions into an electronic portfolio from the very first class that you take. Link to the program again will be six consecutive semesters once you start. Uh, meet one night a week for four hours in the fall and spring and for five hours in the summer semester. So we only go 10 weeks in the summer and you still got to get in roughly 60 hours face-to-face uh, -face time. So we do 15 weeks in the fall and spring times four hours. We do 10 weeks in the summer times five hours. There's an additional 30% uh, requirement that something be done during the week. Now the students we have in our, our principals program now come under the same requirements or operating through the same uh, modules, uh, same modular system, not the same modules. And that system, that 30 hours or 30% they're doing, they, they, they'll watch YouTube, they'll watch uh, WebEx webinars we've produced, they'll do group activities, team activities, chat room with professors, or live web, WebEx uh, opportunities. So different professors arrange different things for you to do, but you will be required to do additional work. Uh, criteria for admission, and you'll, you'll have some handouts if you're in an information session right now, or, or attend an information session, you'll, um, you'll get these, these handed to you. 
Uh, you need, we want to see evidence of effective critical thinking and problem solving skills and we'll handle this through uh, a reference from your su uh, supervisor. Strong communication skills, uh, ethical standards, again through your uh, references we'll be able to obtain that information. Interpersonal skills. We re request three years minimum experience in education, preferably in administration since you're adding a specialist degree to a principal certificate. Three letters of reference, official master's transcript from a regionally accredited university, uh, current North Carolina principalship license. Uh, there's an additional form we're going to ask for is for you to turn in your intern supervisor in your system so that we know that you've made contact with that person to let them know that you're pursuing this uh, degree and this licensure and they're in agreement with you doing that. We'll briefly go through the modular descriptions when you enter the program as a, in a cohort. Uh, your first class will be e, ESEL 611, Executive Leadership at the District Level, where you'll look at historical time, context of central office leadership and organizational structure. Uh, second semester, you'll take Fiscal Management and Leadership, where you'll look at facilities and finance and uh, developing long-range plans at the central office level for meeting needs of a particular school system. Module 3 is research methods and program evaluation with a strong focus on program evaluation. Uh, we we'll want you to get involved with the learning community piece of that school system and be able to help them with some data through the program evaluation piece to help make decisions for that school system. Policy analysis will be your 614 course, the next module, uh, looking at um, ethics and legal issues as they relate to educational settings. Uh, the next module will be leading change for educational transformation, looking at school reform models and impact on the educational environment, especially from a system-wide perspective. And then the last module is organization communications and technology systems. Uh, with a focus on tools and data and how to distribute data and communicate data to those stakeholders within the organization. Your 697 is your internship, again one hour per semester for the entire six semesters. Cost of the program, at this taping, and keep in mind this changes on a yearly basis, uh, for the year 2012-13, if we're able to start in August, is $3.99 per credit hour. Uh, so you're taking seven hours per semester. Uh, you can do the math on that. The books, I would anticipate around $1,500, maybe a little bit more. We've gone to custom books in our principalship program, anticipate doing that in this EDS program, which in the long run will save some money, and it's also aligned to this integrated curriculum. There is an electronic portfolio fee, runs about $90 for three years. And you can keep that portfolio, electronic portfolio, for life if you want to, but it becomes your responsibility after the program. This is a requirement by the state that we have an electronic portfolio so that you, we can justify your license based on your uh, demonstrated skills. So we don't have a lot of choice in that. And that's not too bad of a thing for you to have is when you start interviewing for positions. Uh, an intern internship fee of $100 per semester has been proposed and that approval is pending, but we anticipate that happening. We use this money uh, to pay people to review your portfolio and evaluate your portfolio, which gets rather extensive. We'll assign you uh, at least two reviewers and, and an evaluator to look to be the one responsible for uh, grading your uh, submissions to your portfolio, which is evidence of your ability to work or ability to do that job. Um, that uh, is a necessary requirement because we're looking now and doing it at the principal's level, principal's training level, looking at anywhere from, I would say, uh, 50 to 100 pages worth of work with additional videos and other artifacts that become quite extensive. They're all tied to a particular rubric. Those rubrics are tied back to the skills that the state has determined that you need to demonstrate. Pretty complicated process there just to explain in a video, but uh, we work on that constantly through the six semesters. If you have further questions, you can call the School of Education 704-406-3030. Uh, you can call the Graduate School 406-3020. 
Uh, you can call graduate admissions, start with 406-3987, and those numbers are listed here for you. We look forward to working with you. We think we're on the cutting edge of this integrated curriculum modular cohort aspect, uh, and we think we've set up a blended model that makes it uh, real user-friendly, worker-friendly for you, and hope you find an opportunity to come to Gardner Web and be a part of our program. Thank you very much.